I was indicted for perjury immediately after that. So, uh, I was uh, handcuffed, arrested, fingerprinted, detectives on each side. Uh, Joe Stone saw to it that it was done before a whole cadre of photographers. They wanted to see me in handcuffs. Did you, they come to your home or did they come from the office? At the uh, office? They took me to the, uh, to the police station. And that picture of me in handcuffs appeared in the press all around the world. It followed me in England, and it did a lot of damage to me when I tried to make a new life in London. But the detectives who took me in, that when the photographers were out of sight, they said to me, sorry, we had to do this. And they took the handcuffs right off. Did they allow you to put their coats o your coat over the front so no, they wouldn't no, see that? No, didn't give no, you that no, option? No, just that they wanted specifically so this was Hogan's baby. Uh, when, when that happened, I can just tell you very briefly that Zolotta was brought in, and Zolotta said to me, Zolotta being? Hi, uh, Zolotta is a lawyer brought in by Dan Enright. And Zlato was a close personal friend of, uh, of uh, Joe. Um, Joe Stone. Stone. And Zlato said to me, he spoke. See, by that time, I was so disgusted with the lawyers, I had a Judge Gelb that I got rid of. He was, Gelb kept on telling me, the judge, that don't worry, it's going to blow over, nothing's going to happen. He said it to me before I was indicted, before I went to the grand jury, so I had, he is a lawyer. And this, the three lawyers, <laughs> they all, all misled me. Gelb was probably the worst because saying, yeah, don't kid, you, you, don't worry about it, it's all going to be okay. Zolato said, I'm going to lay it in the line for you, kid. He said, you want to protect your contestants, but you know, you stupidly went into the grand jury, you lied, you were indicted. You know what you did? The worst thing you could possibly do for your contestants, because Stone told me that he is going to send you to jail, there's going to be a trial. And he's going to bring on Van Doren, he's going to bring on everybody else. And these contestants in front at, at a trial are not going to lie. It's going to be a trial. They're going to, it isn't like a grand jury, this is a trial. He said, the only one who can save you now was Joe Stone, because Stone wants to get you. And he, he wants to make an example of you and scare everybody else. He says, the only way I can get you out of jail is me. I'll arrange with Joe Stone that you go back in front of a grand, grand jury and tell him the truth. And what I'll do is, if you do that, and I know how you feel about your protecting your contestants, I'll see to it that no one will know about your going back, that your contestants will not be told, they'll be kept in secret, and that I'll make, I'll see to it. It's gonna be a promise that, I, that, that, that uh, Joe Stone will make to you, and he made to me, that you will uh, not be arrested not, not a trial, and we'll drop your indictment. That's what I was facing. I had no one to talk to about that except my wife. I had agreed to it because it made all sense to the world. You know, here I've been trying to protect them. They're going to have a trial. Not only will I be thrown in jail for five years, but these other people are going to be involved. So I said to Zolato, I can only agree to you with it 
if you promise me that everything you told me is true, that there will be no mention of this to anyone. It will be totally secret. And he said, grand jury minutes are secret. No one is, will know about it. But you, what you'll do is you'll save the skins of your contestants. There'll be no trial, and you won't go to jail. I agree. So I went back, and I told them the truth. Okay. And at, did you serve any time in jail at all? No. no, no you no. were bailed out immediately? No, you... I, I, I was in a holding pen or something right. for maybe an hour or two hours. And then after you recanted, I was bailed out, yeah. the indictment against you was withdrawn? No. It wasn't? At this second, when I went back, and when Joe Stone questioned me in front of the grand jury, he says, was any deal ever made between you and this office that if you came back, that you would not, that, that, that the charges would be dropped against you and there would be no trial? Now, no one advised me about that. I, did, I, was, I was not prepared for that. Now, what do I say? Do I say, uh, hey, we made a deal. We made a deal with Heiselotta. <laughs> but, so and I was so frustrated. I read, and I, so I had to perjure myself. Again? Yeah, I had to lie to save the skin of the man who was, who was started the whole thing to destroy me. And then, they had me come back the following day. And Joe had to, he was not there. He was away and he's gonna be back late. But they started without him. And Donnelly asked me the same question. But Donnelly went farther. And he said, you, no one said anything to you about if you were to come back that this would all, that you know, the contestants would not be touched and, you know, and that you would be, uh, that you would not have a trial. He questioned me again. And you again perjured yourself and yes. said, no, there was no deal. Then he went, at, then he asked me another question. And so I said, I want to call my lawyer. I have a right to call my lawyer. And he, Donnelly, went to the grand jury and he said, do I have your permission to stop him from calling his lawyer? And they gave him permission. Then I, then I made a, then they had a break. I had to go to the bathroom. So I went out and uh, uh, there was a, the assistant, a guy who worked with Isolato, was outside the room when I told him that I had, what I had done, and, and that Donnelly was trying to put me into a position where he could get me for perjury again. He said, let's call high. So I run to the telephone. I go to the telephone, and the assistant of Donnelly comes running and grabs and tries to push me out of the telephone booth. And... And I said, you can't stop me. I'm talking to my lawyer. It's legal. He says, no, it isn't. He tried to push me. I pushed him away. And he got, then he left and started running to Donnelly to get Donnelly. And I speak to Hi Zolotto, and I told Zolotto what's happening. And Zolotto said, uh, I'll take care of it. So just at the, right after I hung up, Donnelly comes in and starts swearing at me is I told you you can't talk to your lawyer. It's legal, you know, and I had... It's legal to talk to your lawyer. Lawyer, yes, right. And he got very, he was furious. He was try and when I went back into the room, he started questioning me again, and like in a Hollywood film, in walks Joe Stone, who takes over the questioning and saves me from because I had no choice. The way he was questioning me, it's like he wanted, he knew there was something that I was protecting Joe Stone. He knew what was going on. And he must have known about Zolato, but 
it, my feeling at that time was that he wanted to destroy Joe Stone. Well, clearly, Lord Donnelly didn't know what the deal was. Or maybe he didn't know what the deal was, right. yeah. All now, right. Now, um, so at that point, did they withdraw the indictment against you? Were you then no, cleared? No, no. So you remained under indictment. Charges were not dropped against you. I remained under indictment, okay. And when I, I said to Zlato, I'd like to have the indictment dropped because I lost my insurance. I mean, I, it, I was like penalized by, by having an indictment over my head. 